What an absolute fantastic afternoon I've just had. Wolves completely dominating against Derby County to come out 2-0 winners. And I'm very, very pleased with how everybody performed. Like last week, from the goalkeeper up to the striker, everybody contributed in a way. Lots of positives, lots of improvement from last week as well, which is great. And at this point in the season, we've got a lot to be excited about. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and thank you for joining me for this very excited uh, match review from the game against Derby. 2-0 winners, Douglas and Cavaliero scoring the goals. But in truth, that flattered Derby, we really should have been winning that game 4 or 5 nil. A couple of guilt edge chances that were missed from Bonatini and from Jota, but nevertheless... I think in the past when we've missed chances like that, we've gone on to lose or draw games. It's credit to the defence that we've kept another clean sheet. If you go back into pre-season now, that's five clean sheets in a row. Three in competitive games, which is fantastic. And we really are building from the back. And it's something to, that is really, really working and is improving as well. So in terms of the game, Derby probably had the better of the first 20 minutes or so. They had a couple of chances. Andy Vyman looking quite dangerous. But we kept him quiet. Connor Cody made an excellent challenge where he ran back about 40 yards and put a great challenge in. Ended up winning a throw in for us, which is fantastic. Cody again, magnificent in that sweeper role. Second half of the first half, Wolves came into it a lot more. Doherty and Douglas in those wing back positions got a lot more of the ball. Doherty had a good game today as well, I thought. I do think, however, that Nuno will be looking for somebody with a little more pace on that right hand side. But his delivery into the box was good today. And that was what led to the first goal from Wolves. A few minutes before the goal, ball came in from Doherty and Bonatini just flicked it wide of the post. A few minutes later, then Doherty put the ball at more of an angle into the box and Douglas shot, quite fortunately deflected off a Derby County player and ended up in the back of the net. But that was great, 1-0 just before half-time. And then in the second half, Derby started quite positively and well and had the better of the first exchanges in the second half. John Ruddy making a good save there at 1-0 as well. As Derby were coming more into the game, they exposed themselves a bit at the back and Wolves took advantage of that by playing quite a few long balls and Jota getting on the end of them, missing one real chance where he went one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, hitting the post and then came to Bonatini and he fired it over the bar. Myself, at that point, I was thinking, well, typical Wolves, we're going to blow it, we're playing so well, but we're going to end up drawing or losing this game. But we never came under threat. The whole second half then, Wolves just maintained their pressure on the ball, maintained the calm and stroking the ball. Every time the ball came into the box, Willie Bolly was there, got rid of it. It was just a complete performance. Then Cavaliero came on in the second half as well. He changed the game as well. Just the way that he was running the ball at the defence, which is slightly different to the way that Jota was doing it. And then he grabbed a goal, which came from a great move, lots of one-touch passing, Quick ball, moving around. Very, very unselfish play from Jota, who could have... But we probably was thinking, you know, I missed that. Such an easy chance earlier on that he wanted to take it for himself. But unselfishly, laid it off to Cavaliero, who hit it home for his first goal of the season in his first appearance of the season as well. And made it 2-0 and made the game safe at that point. So to sum it all up, I think that was the best away performance that I've seen from Wolves in the league for a long, long time. It was just we never came under threat. We completely dominated the game defensively. Midfield as well. Neves moving the ball really, really well. Sice winning the ball back really, really well. I can't pick a fault with anybody at all from today. It was fantastic performance all round. The subs coming off the bench as well. I feel like we've improved massively as well since the Middlesbrough game. We created a lot more chances, which Nuno said that they were working on in training last week. I would imagine that that's still going to be the case because defensively we are, we are completely sound. We just need to work on the movement in the last third, I think, a little bit. Watching Arsenal last night, who we were playing in the same formation. Okay, they've got players who've got 50, you know worth fifty million pounds and who are World Cup winners and stuff like that. But they're playing with the same way. They play the front three play a lot narrower, and there's a lot more running the ball at defenders, which I think we will eventually get to. Once the players are a little bit more comfortable with the formation and things like that. I do think we're still going to be patient with this style of football. I can see us going behind in the game and people starting to get a little bit agitated and worried that we're not moving the ball forward and not running at defenders. But that's not our, our style. We're going to have to be patient with it. And when we are eventually, 
falling behind. We haven't conceded a goal for ages, but when we do fall behind, we've got to be patient with it and got to stick with it. It's been a start of the season which has exceeded all of my expectations. I was thinking if we can get three points from these first three games, we'll do really well. Six points from six at the moment. Haven't conceded a goal. Scored three. We're moving on now to a very, very tough game, I think, against Hull on Tuesday night at their place as well. They've just won 4-1 this afternoon as well, so they're going to have their tails up. We've got to hit the ground running out there, and I can see us, if we play in that same sort of style, taking the game to them, picking the gaps in their defences when, if, when they come out to try and attack. And I'm very, very looking forward now to the next couple of games. I just want to say as well how great it was to be amongst the Wolves fans in an away game like that as well. It's been a long time, I think, since we've had a league game where it's felt like... It almost felt like an end-of-season promotion party with the sunshine and everybody singing and getting along and cheering the team. But for that to be in August, I think, just is going to be a massive, massive boost for the team. And Nuno, in his interview, mentioned us, first of all, very, very excited, very, very happy, buzzing, in fact, after the start of the season. And who knows? I almost don't want to get carried away, but I think two or three more wins... And I think I might start to be. Thank you very much for watching this video. Drop it a like. Let me know what you thought of the game. If you went or if you listened on the radio or whatever. Do you think this is going to be our year? We're only two games in. But we've played two difficult teams. And we've had two completely dominating performances. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Come on the Wolves. Bye bye.